All right, I'm uh, back in the studio, and I'm getting ready to uh, do a little sketching in clay or wax, whichever uh, I decide to do. Just getting the uh, fully charged battery put into the camera, checking the lens, making sure everything is fine, put the camera on the right setting, and uh, getting ready to mount the uh, camera on my makeshift tripod. And uh, get it aimed properly now. Let's decide what I'm gonna do. All right, I got my light uh, above my wax, which I'm gonna be using. And the wax I'm going to be using is from uh, John Lovewell. It was, they made a, a wax for me to send down to a place to get, uh, get scanned into a computer so that they could make a uh, reproduction at a smaller size. The uh, Native Americans were often asked to uh, sit and pose for photographs. And... Uh, have them sitting on a block of wood, but what I'm thinking of doing is making the base with a draped piece of buffalo robe or, or something over this and actually mount his body here and have his legs coming out here. So I'm going to think what I'm going to do here. Okay, I got a piece of uh, cloth. It's a pillowcase, an old uh, throwaway case. And I'm going to draw a deer skin on it. There. Had to go to the store to Get me a uh, burner. I'm going to cut out the form of a deer skin so that uh, when I drape it, we'll have the correct uh, drapery. Deer skins aren't as big as elk and buffalo hides. Lower this into the uh, wax. got the uh, wax melted. I'm just going to check how melted it is. Yeah, there we go. Listen very carefully because melted wax is extremely hot. And you can burn yourself really good. and everything so get 
this pan out of the way so I don't burn myself. There we go. Now it's cool enough that I can do this by hand. I'm doing is, is just adding wrinkles to it. That's the problem with working with too hot a wax. It gets all of your hands. And uh, I let that light sit on there for too long and too close. But it'll all be fine. The more I work it, it, uh, it calms down a bit. second. That's the wax I'm going to put on top of the robe to solidify it. It's filling in inside so that uh, there's no uh, big cavities. This probably doesn't make much sense to some of you, but it'll make sense when I get to the figure. It's just hard to do this after you've made the figure. So I made it before I made the figure. I may have some of his tools of trade, such as a tomahawk, a skull of a buffalo, I don't know. I'm, different things can be on the base, but I got the main part done, and that's all that counts. All right, tomorrow I will start on the figure. All right, everybody, good night. <laughs>